George was in such a hurry to get his toy boat that he didn't notice the beavers had less water now. The beavers knew whatever stopped their water had to be upstream. George's dam was ruined. The beavers, they did this. Building a dam twice in one day was hard work. At last, nothing could stop George from boating now. George didn't mind rain. It meant his pond would be bigger tomorrow when he brought Bill to see it. <laughs> okay, George, I'm coming, I'm coming. <gasps> George, a dam calls for two important elements. Proper construction and water. Those beavers, of course. They must be behind this. <laughs> this isn't good. The water's important to the beaver's home. <laughs> there must be something wrong up the creek past your dam. <laughs> George saw the problem. That fallen tree was acting just like a dam. We're going to need someone strong to move this. You're coming back, aren't you? Leslie? There's a proper way to... I'm explaining to a cow. Move! Yes! <laughs> What's wrong? They should be happy. <gasps> that water built up so much force, it's wrecking what's left of your dam. <laughs> oh no, the beaver dam! George and Bill watched the beavers work together to defend their home against the raging waters. Look! Pieces of your dam! George wondered if he needed a pond for his toy boat as much as the beavers needed their home. didn't even miss his old perfect pond. But he was probably gonna need Mrs. Rankins to build more boats. Just when George was sure he'd seen all the moving things, there was another one. It was too small for people, but perfect for George. Maybe it was a monkey mover. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, 
That? Well, they use it to find things. <laughs> Maybe George could borrow it to look for his plane. All set. Let's find our gate and... George! <laughs> George, fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Would the parent dog... <laughs> Okay. So long, George. Have a nice trip. <gasps> Have a nice flight, George. Oh! <laughs> now, George, I'm just going to confirm our seat assignments. Whatever you do, don't go anywhere. I mean it. doing here? You should be at the animal loading area. <laughs> Do you have any bananas on this flight? <laughs> well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. How did you get out of your crate? Where is your crate? Hey, you don't belong here. You got yourself a seat. Now we gotta get you to your plane. Quick, you can ride in the tub. George! George! This is the final boarding call for Kona Carriers Flight 5230 to Hawaii. H have you seen George? But I can't get on! I've lost my monkey! Now, do you mean George? Enjoy your flight, George. Thanks, Captain. <laughs> oh, there you are, you little dickens. I was hoping I'd see you again. Remember me from the line? <laughs> you left this on my bag. <laughs> That airport was a fun place. It was like a vacation before vacation. In fact, the airport was better than vacation. For George, the quiet beach didn't compare to the buzzing, flashing, beeping airport. <laughs> but then again, when you're curious, fun has a way of just showing up. There was no way George could walk home in deep snow without skis. <laughs> I think he likes our snowshoes. <laughs> I think he wants to borrow our snowshoes to get to that house. He probably lives there. I'll give him mine. Then how do you get home? You can't walk on the snow without them. Let's pull him home on our sled. Can't. We're already late and Mom's gonna get worried. We can't just leave them here. How about we get ourselves home first and then we'll give the monkey your snowshoes. We live on the other side of the hill. Climb aboard. <laughs> There's that weird noise again. It's probably
probably kids like us, riding sleds a hill or two away. On your marks. Get set. Why didn't we give the monkey the snowshoes on top of the hill? Now he has to walk all the way back up. I can't think of everything, and a better time to bring that up would have been on top of the hill. Sorry, monkey. George didn't realize how cold and tired he was till he tried to climb that same hill one more time. <laughs> About the only thing that kept him going was the joyous hope of Coco. <laughs> now George could see what made that sound, a cold lost pig. George was almost at the top. The pig was way over there. He didn't even know if he could help. We can't just leave him here. George wondered how a pig got lost all the way up here, and more importantly, how he was going to get it down. What they needed was a sled. Squeal anywhere. It's little Mike. <laughs> he got out last night before it snowed. He's never even seen snow before. Must have been completely mystified by it. Thank you, George. I was wondering what took you so long. There's a cup of cocoa inside waiting for you. Oh, yeah. Well, see you later. Okay, take care. Skiing, sledding, bringing a pig home, then cocoa? This was a perfect day to be a monkey. George thought he'd go see how Bill was doing. <sighs> Must feed bunnies. Bill seemed to be doing fine. He was right. A smaller igloo is a warmer igloo. Crowded, but warm. And the cracks in Bill's igloo were filled with snow, which kept out the wind. Ah. George had forgotten about that part. <laughs> it 
was a little cold to be doing this, and it was too big a job. George had really wanted to spend the night in an igloo. <sighs> and maybe he still could. He could build his igloo right inside the house. A smaller igloo. It was nice and warm. George figured he'd better turn down the thermostat so his igloo wouldn't melt. <laughs> oh, it's freezing. Oh, I must have turned the heat down too low. is off. No wonder it's so cold. Probably upstairs and... Uh, what? Oh, boy. George! Uh, George, why is there a melted igloo in the living room? Uh-huh. You were cold outside. So you thought you'd build an igloo inside. Uh -huh. uh, makes sense. For a city kid. <laughs> As the Sprout Master of Sprout Troop number 674, I am proud to present Bill with his badge in winter camping. <laughs> wow! There. And now, George and I would like to invite you all to a little celebration. <laughs> George's igloo might be too cold for sleeping, but it was just right for a party. Hey, George. Got any ice for the punch? <laughs> <laughs> wow, thanks. That was the start of the Monkey Igloo Social Club. <laughs> Open every weekend until it melted in the spring.